Hello, my lovelies. And you join me here at Windy Bottom. And it is the last Thursday before the winter solstice. And it's time for me to go to work. So join me as I drive to work on a Thursday. to make YouTube videos with... Oh, you had me at YouTube videos. Let's go, Boaty. It's actually not as cold as it has been. It is exactly zero degrees C. Celsius or centigrade? Good God, I don't actually know what... Hang on, let's think about it. Um, it's Celsius, isn't it? Because the higher ones are Fahrenheit. There we are. Um, look, there's still a, a little vestige of light in that sky. Time check, it's 10 to 5. It is Thursday, the somethings of December. And it's the uh, last Thursday before the winter solstice, which is, of course, the shortest day. But I don't think this will be the longest Thursday of the year because the solstice falls on a Wednesday. So I imagine that the day after will actually be the shortest Thursday. But there we are. The next time I record one of these, driving to work on a Thursdays, we'll have got over the hump and we'll be heading in the right direction where the nights get shorter and the days get longer. That's right. I know what I'm talking about. I'll try to remember to keep my full beam on whenever possible, so you might actually see something. Well, that's quite atmospheric, isn't it? Yeah, it's a blessing that the um, the cold has eased off a tad. I mean, it's still bloody freezing. Literally, it's zero degrees. But it's not as bad as it has been. new to the channel and this is the first of my nonsenses that you've happened across then welcome and let me introduce myself my name is Boaty and this is my YouTube channel where I record things that are of very little interest to any reasonable person but some like-minded lunatics like myself seem to quite like them so I keep recording them and this is one of a series I kind of do called driving to work on a Thursday and you'll never guess what I do in it go on have a guess guess what the videos are about no give up well they're about me driving to work on a Thursday so, let me tell you a little bit about that. Um, I live kind of in the middle of nowhere-ish. Um, actually, I live on just on the very edge of the Peak District National Park. Um, in a way, it's remote. In another way, it's right by the one and only main road that goes over that bit of the, the 
moors in the high peak. So there's normally an escape route to civilization even in the worst of the weathers. Ooh, sliding. That's rather beautiful. It may not look it, my love, but the road is rather slippery. So, I shall take appropriate care. I don't want to fall off the road. That's bad enough at the best of times, but to do it when you're watching me, that would be incredibly embarrassing. So yeah, that's where I live, in a humble little cottage called Windy Bottom. And I work with the Nepalese community and specifically a couple of um, fine dining Asian fusion restaurants. Um, Nepali cuisine, Indian cuisine, and some fusion dishes where the chefs, who are quite frankly amazing, just come up with some fantastic things. It's why I'm fat. This is a very common place for cars to fall off the road. And indeed that happened very recently and they wrecked the road surface as they fell off, which is why we're bumping all over the shop. I normally base myself at the restaurant Oh my God, did you hear that? I have cut no traction. That was, see, I was thinking about what I was saying and I wasn't contra concentrating on what the bloody car was doing. That was a complete loss of traction on the, um, on the near side. Of course, it's been bitterly cold all day, even if uh, it is easing off a little now. And this is a road that is in permanent shade. So although it's been sunny today, this road won't have thawed from the minus seven of, of last night. Which is why I'm slipping about like a drunk on an ice rink. Anyway. I was trying to tell you that I normally base myself at a restaurant in Ripley, which is in Derbyshire, and that is exactly where I'm going today. And I would just like to give a shout out to Roger the Cabin Boy, who's um, a lovely chap, he's a customer of the restaurant, he's one of my subscribers here on YouTube, and he is a very welcome part of my Facebook community group. Um, which, if you would like to join, just search Facebook for Boaties World. You'll be very welcome. That's rather picturesque, isn't it? You can't feel it, obviously, and I'm sure on camera there's nothing to see, but I'm taking it very steady. I'm doing, what am I doing, about 27 miles an hour, where, quite frankly, under normal conditions, I'd be doing about 60, because the road is dodgy. Okay, it's now dropped down to minus 0, 0 0.5 degrees. I 
I apologise for the background uh, noise that you can hear. It is the car's heater, the blower, which is on because it's minus 0.5 degrees. And there are some artistic sacrifices I'm willing to make for YouTube, but freezing my tits off is not one of them. Oh, for reference, I am driving Sir Arnold Robinson, who is my 2005 Rover 75 CDTI Automatic Saloon, and who is rather fabulous. And of course, he was the genesis of my current MG Rover fleet. He was the first of the MG Rover group that I bought at this phase in my life. Possibly ever, now I come to think about it. No, that's a lie, I had a maestro, didn't I? I bought him by accident, didn't mean to. Steady on the brakes here, steady on the brakes. We don't want to be locking up. Oh, dead. I would tell you the road names and areas that we're in, but we're not really in an area and I don't know what the road names are, so. Okay, couldn't see a bloody thing there. I could really do with washing my windscreen, but I don't know if the washer jets are going to be frozen. And if they are, and I wash the screen and the wipers activate, which they will, I'm going to make a mess. Oh, let's try it. Oh, yay, we're okay. Happy days. Now, I know I shouldn't, but I've put my um, I've put my front fogs on because, and I say this every time, but it's absolutely true, the headlights on this Rover 75 are like candles that have been shoved up a baboon's ass. In other words, they're lamentably poor. Slightly tricky junction this because it's a fast road, it's a 60 mile an hour road we're crossing and there's a blind brow of the hill to, to our right. Arguably easier at night because you get advance warning of cars via the headlights. Now this road here, or this lane, oh it actually looks as if it's been gritted and it's a more well travelled road so we can probably get ahead of steam up here a bit more, um, a bit more safely. Chesterfield and we're going to be doing a jink left and then immediately right and ahead of us although of course you can't see it is um, Slack Hill which you may or more probably may not be interested in knowing it's very difficult to get up in an FX4 London taxi with four children in the back. Ask me how I know. Go on, ask me how I know. I've never seen the appeal of Land Rovers. I find them hugely uncomfortable to drive. I don't fit in them. They have lots of sharp edges which want to hurt me. They're like going back in time while being stabbed by sharp cushions. With all of the stuffing poked up at one edge. And you can have that Monty Python reference free of charge. I would, however, like a Freelander. 
So if anybody has got a silver Freelander that they don't need, that'd be very great. Oh, and a big shout out to Alan Searle, who last night became my very first channel member. And he's not just any old channel member. He dives straight into the very top tier, to the connoisseur tier. So thank you very much for your support, Alan. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you for being the first. Oh, and glancing at the dashboard has reminded me that I'm feeling rather smug and virtuous because I have one quarter of a tank of fuel as opposed to my normal fumes after my pal, Captain Mustard, a.k.a. the Hairy Paddington of the excellent Project Nigel channel keeps telling me off via the medium of YouTube for running my 75s too low on fuel which is not a good thing to do because they have a complex dual fuel pump arrangement which have a disturbing tendency to commit suicide if they're asked to run when there is a less than ideal amount of fuel in the tank. So I'm being a good boy. Look at that, that's an indicator from the 1960s in a what is it, B plate? So if that's not a private plate, which it could be because it's got gal, but that would make it an 84, 85 vehicle. With an indicator that's already two and a half decades out of date. Main beam on so you can see what's happening. Now, over the past week or so in this um, cold snap, the lanes have been, quite frankly, terrifyingly dangerous. And I could easily have come to work the very slightly long way round along main roads that are absolutely, perfectly 100% safe. But I don't, I come this way. Because, because I'm a man and I'm stupid and I like the challenge. Although on winter, oh God, look at all this bloody traffic. Oh, this is no fun. Although on winter nights, <clears throat> obviously when it's, can I just whiz out here, I bloody can. Ha! But on winter nights, I do go home the long way round because doing it at this time in the afternoon is one thing. Doing it at midnight, when it's been like minus 10, even I am not quite that stupid. Now, this is a stretch of road where longer term viewers will know I have a little bit of fun in spring and summer. But this is not a road to have fun on in winter. This is a road to be careful on in winter. And ahead of us you may be able to see the bright lights of relative civilization. And this is another corner where you will regularly see a car that's fallen off the road. Normally a car that's been going in this direction hits the bend a little bit too quick or underestimates its severity of the bend and you may have seen the gap in the hedge which is where they fall off. Honestly I've seen it loads of times. And having dropped a bit of altitude uh, and headed a bit nearer to civilization we are now at a toasty 0.5 degrees as we come into the village of Wessington. And there's a pub on the left hand side here which is one of a, a small chain and is exactly the sort of pub that I don't want to eat in. Now then my lovelies, we will shortly be approaching and indeed going underneath 
the Honourable Bridge. And I would just like to take this opportunity to remind you that if you drive or walk or cycle underneath the railway bridge, at the same time as a train is going over the bridge, then you can make a wish and it will come true. And that must be true because my mother told me that. And mothers don't lie. Actually, mothers lie to index me all the time. No, of course you don't look silly, darling. Muttering under their breath, Christ, can't wait for them to grow out of this particular phase. Here we go, Honourable Bridge Ahoy. I will, of course, greet it in the traditional fashion by clasping my hands in an attitude of humble something or other and saying greetings, Honourable Bridge. No train going over though, unfortunately, so no wish for me tonight. Never mind. I've got a lovely YouTube channel and all of you lovely people, so my wishes have already come true. The sad thing is, that's true. Well, maybe not all of my wishes. I can think of a couple of others. Some of which involve large amounts of money, some of which involve Claudia Winkleman. Oh, I know what I wanted to talk to you a lot about. I've mentioned more than once that back in the day when they were current, I hated Rovers, particularly the 75. And now, I don't hate them. In fact, I love them. And I knew this. But the other day, I remembered something that I hadn't remembered that I'd forgotten, or I'd forgotten that I hadn't remembered, or I'd... Hang on, I'm confusing myself. That's a cheeky little narrow bridge there, where if there's something coming the other way, you could very easily scrape your wing mirror. Anyway, I remembered a time which, looking back, could have been pivotal. Where, and it was the first time when I looked at a Rover, a 75, a Rover 75, and thought, actually, that's kind of cool. Steady. And I can tell you exactly where I was when I saw it. And I was at my favorite services in the world, which is the Air de la Bay du Somme, which is in northern France, possibly on the A16, but it has been quite a few years since I was last there, and I can't, I can't exactly remember. It is fabulous though. French motorway services are fabulous. This one's in the middle of a nature reserve, which makes it fabulous anyway. But you can actually eat at French motorway services. I mean, proper food, nice food. And you don't get your trousers and pants taken down too badly. Even the sandwiches in the shop are a different world than the UK offerings. Although I suppose, to be fair, things have got better in the UK in that regard. I may need to invest in a, a more expensive um, phone mount that doesn't wobble about like a drunk in a high gale.
And while I think about it, at the end of this video, there will probably be an advert. Now then, this is important. When the advert comes on, don't touch that knob. Leave that knob alone. Don't go turning anything off or skipping anything. I earn money from that advert. Help me out and watch it all through and enjoy it. And if you feel so inclined, buy something, whatever it happens to be advertising or not. But at least watch it because that will earn me something. And for those who didn't know, this channel serves, well, it serves lots of purposes. I mean, it amuses you, me. Hopefully it amuses some of you. But two particular functions that it serves are, or hopefully will serve, is one, to make me less poor, and two, um, to help me to maintain my uh, charity, my UK Singles Charity, and uh, give just a little bit of help where it's needed the most. And you can support me in both of those aims in various ways. There's channel memberships, there are super thanks and super stickers and super chats in the live streams. Um, or, if you are as skint as I am, just watch the adverts all through. Um, that doesn't cost you anything at all, but it really helps me and it helps me to help others. So if you could do that, that'd be fabulous, thank you. And it all nice and Christmassy. Okay my loves, here we go, I'm at work so it's time to go and do something productive for money. Okay my loves, catch you in a bit. Well, that was a busy old night but all done now and I'm heading home to do my live stream Thursday Night Live if you weren't aware I do live streams from 11 p.m. on Mondays and Thursdays and they're good fun so do tune in if you're still awake at that time right then my lovelies I'm on the last hill up to the old windy bottom. It's a quarter to eleven, so I'll just have time to get the bits out of the car and have a wee before tonight's live stream. And that's about it for this episode of driving to work on a Thursday. It's nice to reflect that this time next week we will be heading in the right direction. We'll be past the winter solstice and the days will be imperceptibly but inexorably growing longer and the dark cold nights will be growing shorter. No doubt there will still be plenty of winter to come but at least we know that we are on the path to spring. Blessed spring. Okay my lovelies, thank you so much as always for your company. It really, really wouldn't be the same without you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Good night my loves, stay safe and stay warm.